Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's Rachel from Rachel First and today I thought I would do a video on what's in my bag and the bag I'm currently using the most is this um, bag that I got from Kmart. It's pretty large Ugh. and uh, I use, it's very cheap, it was like under $25 but it does it does what I needed to do on a daily basis. I teach infant toddlers and preschoolers, so you know, ECE, so I don't need anything fancy when I'm going to work. I just need something to hold all my junk. And this is it. So anyway, so the bag has a large shoulder strap that is adjustable, but I usually just wear it like that on my shoulder, or you can use it on your elbow like that you know and um, on one side it has a little pocket right here and I usually use my bus pass in that because I take a bus to work and then there are two zipper zippered pockets right here one here and one here and when you open it up it's a, just a big empty space like that but then it has two zippers zipper pockets on the side so you can put stuff here and the same thing on the other side so let's just jump in and see what we got so in this in the side pocket not the side pocket the side zip thing I usually keep my cell phone my cell phone charger and my earbuds in here and um here's my cell phone <laughs> but yeah that's what I usually keep in that one in the back one I don't usually keep anything. Um, oh yes, I do. I keep a couple of girly items. I don't need to go into that because you know what that is, right? And uh, so in the big pocket, uh, the big compartment, I have my wallet. I love this wallet. I actually have a matching purse to this wallet, if you can see it. It has Mickey Mouse on it. And I got it from Disney. Walt Disney World when I went there two years ago and it has a matching purse which you might see that one in a what's in my bag video in the summer but anyway so this is my uh, wallet just a standard wallet I'm not gonna get into everything that's in there but you know receipts cards some cash a random nail file which I could have used that last night but okay there it is um, so that's in my wallet and I have a large bottle of Tylenol or the store brand of Tylenol as I said I work in early childhood so I get headaches a lot so I have that um, a big box of band-aids because I just bought a pair of sandals and of course when you buy sandals you always get that blister right so I had to stop at the convenience store next to my job and I got the band-aids but I think I've broken the sandals in so I don't, I'm not gonna be needing those all summer so that's good um, let's see what else is in here I have my a book that unfortunately I haven't even really started I want to start reading it it's just I just don't really have the time to read it and uh, I need to find the time to read it so anyway the book I'm hoping to start very soon is by Wally Lamb who's one of my favorite authors and this is We Are Water. I have started it. I've read like the like the first little section of it um, but yeah I love Wally Lamb. He's my favorite author. One of my favorite authors. Okay and let's see what else do I have. Oh tissues. I have a constant drippy runny nose so I've got I'm sure I've got a lot of tissues in here. Let's see, what is this? Oh, yeah, my, the daycare center where I'm working, we're up for relicensing, so this is just um, a checklist for my classroom just to, for me to go over to make sure that everything in the class is the way it's supposed to be. You know, small group, large group, school age, observation record, you know, that kind of thing that I have to look through and get familiar with and 
couple more receipts. What is this? The envelope. Uh, my birthday was on April 24th, and my coworkers gave me a cake and a birthday card, and the birthday card's not in here, but this was the envelope. So clearly, I needed to clean this back out. Um, I have a chapstick, a hand sanitizer, a CVS brand hand sanitizer, a loose band-aid that fell out of the box, a peach, ooh, a lipstick, a wet n wild lipstick in 904B. Let's see if I can see the color. I can't read the color, but it's a peach. It's a peach. It's one of the, the matte lipsticks. That should be in the make what? That should be in my makeup bag. Uh, I have my 2016 uh, date book. And I'm totally old school. I like to write it down. I know so many people put everything on their phone. I can't do that. So it's just your standard uh, book, uh, planner book. And in this I have, let's see. Sorry. What is that? Oh, my check stub. laser tattoo removal because I'm planning on getting a tattoo removed so I have a pamphlet for that uh, my curriculum sheet for my job for the week and the monthly agenda for my job like the things that we're going to be discussing so if you're curious what toddlers are going to be talking about this month in May Mother's Day fruit insects and teacher's choice Fun, fun, fun. And this is, yeah, that's that. Okay, so here we have last week's, um, like, at my job, the, the schedule for all the teachers. Oh, this is such a disaster. Another blank curriculum sheet. And yes, toddlers do have curriculum. Fine motor, gross motor, social emotional, AM, PM activity, large, uh, no, not large, language arts, sensory, books, and goals. So, yes, if you think toddlers don't learn, they do. And my Sudoku to go book. So, when I'm sitting on the bus, I can just, or waiting for the bus, I can. Do a puzzle. Oh my god, it's so much. Another newsletter for my daycare in May. 2016 season North Shore Music Theater. Upcoming events for the North Shore Music Theater. And ran, oh my gosh, two brand new packs of gum. Extra polar ice. My Mariah Carey perfume, I think I literally have, like, it's, like, just at the bottom. I have, like, nothing left, like, maybe one use left. And a mechanical pencil. And, oh, my gosh, a green pen. <sighs> yeah, let's see, a barrette. I'm suddenly seeing why my back hurts. And a random penny. And what's this? Another receipt. Now, this is the makeup bag that I carry daily in my purse. And I actually do need to go through this again, but I'll, I'll tell you what's in here now. So this lipstick, which was supposed to be in here, so that's that. Another lipstick. Um, which is my e.l.f. I love this lipstick. It's an e.l.f. Which, what shade is this? It's called Worry Go Round. Rosy Go Round? I can't see. Rosy Go Round. Yeah, Rosy Go Round. 
and that's the color. It's gorgeous. It's one of my favorite. Whoops, what am I doing? That? Yeah, it's a gorgeous color. I was wearing that yesterday at work. My Wet n Wild Trio in Sweet as Candy. That's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Uh, I believe this is. Eh. Yeah, I made the I make the grandma face when I'm trying to see. Oh yes, this is. I believe this is. Bare Minerals. Lip gloss in Blossom. Or maybe it's Mally. I can't read. Anyway. This is a gorgeous lip gloss. You can see that. Right. Where are, where am I? This is the lipstick and the one under just the gloss. And my NYC brow kit. The lipstick that I'm wearing right now, L'Oreal Ferris Nude. I'm almost out of that. And if you see any of these makeup items I'm showing you that has, have a sticker on it, that's because this is part of my Project 10 pan, which is going to be another video. A makeup, a dual sided makeup brush. Another lipstick, which is very similar to the one I just showed you, this is e.l.f. and this is also e.l.f. This is e.l.f. Matte Lip Color. And that's the one, this deep one. That's the e.l.f. one. L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara. I just bought this last weekend on my birthday. It's a Versace perfume. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 20. I don't know if it has a shade. But anyway, it's number 20. And it, go, it, it goes with uh, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in number 220. My e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. And this, I have some, this is so, not old, but I've, I've used a lot of it. So it's starting to dry out, so... Yeah, that's almost empty. My chapstick and a little liner brush. Anyway, that's everything in my purse. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for tuning in and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you. Bye.